Hi, I'm Sarah Renee Clark, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the colour catalogue, but also answer some frequently asked questions that we've been receiving about how to download it to your device, how to save it from the internet so that it's not using the internet every time you use it, and also some extra tips using some third party apps that you can use for a better experience. So first things first, we want to download the catalogue. Now, if you haven't already purchased it, you can get your copy from severaneclark.com and you can click on the colour catalogue to take you to this page. If we scroll down, you'll be able to watch a little video here about what the catalogue can do and you'll be able to see some of the reviews from other people. And if you keep scrolling, you can press buy now for $29 and that will take you to the order page. So once we're on our order page, all we have to do is press add to cart. So then we'll press view cart to get head to the checkout. So from here, all you need to do is press proceed to checkout and it will take you to process your payment through PayPal. Once your order has been processed, you'll arrive at this thank you screen and you can actually download your colour catalogue straight from here or you can click on the link that's just been sent to your email address. So in the email you've received, you've got the download links here. So we've got the colour catalogue, which is the interactive version, and we've got the colour catalogue printable version. Now it's important to note that this copy of this email is intended for you to download at an initial time, and there is a download limit of 10 times for you to download each of these items. So it's highly recommended that instead of relying on this every time you want to open the colour catalogue, to actually save a copy to your computer or to, to your device and open it from there. Every time you click on this link, it uses the internet and because it's such a large file, it will use up your internet data if you continually click this link instead of saving a copy. So there's a few ways you can do that, which we'll cover next. So I'll quickly show you how to actually load the colour catalogue onto your iPad. Now, if you have an Android device, this process may be slightly different. Um, if you have an iPhone, it will be the same. So once you've opened your order on your iPad or your iPhone or your Android device, you'll see the same email that we saw on the computer. And again, we can click the colour catalogue and it will open up in on the internet for us. Now, because it is a large file, it does take a few minutes. So you do need to be patient and just wait for it to actually load. So once it's loaded, the most important thing that you need to do here, um, remembering that we've at, we're currently using this from the internet. So if you continue to use it this way, you'll actually be using up your internet data and you will hit your download limit very quickly. So instead, what we need to do is press this little button here and what this does is we can open it in another program. So in this case, we're going to head over to copy to iBooks. Now iBooks is a great program that um, comes on the iPad and on the iPhone. Um, it's an Apple program, so you may not have this on an Android device, but you will have something similar. Um, if you don't, you can always download Adobe Reader to open your PDF. So we'll open in iBooks. And here it is. So this version is now actually saved to your iPad. So you no longer need to go back through the email to access it and you do not need the internet to access it. So you can use it all here. It's saved to your iPad and we can now start browsing the color catalog. Now let's have a look at the color catalog. Now remember first, there are two versions available. There is the interactive version and the printable version. We're going to be using the interactive version and the printable version is an exact copy, but it excludes a lot of the buttons and it excludes a lot of the extra pages at the end so that you can actually print this for yourself if you'd like to. Um, you, you do have permission to take it to um, a print shop and actually print a copy for your personal use. So you can do that if you would prefer to have it bound, but we're going to have a look at the interactive version today. So the first thing you need to do is head to our main menu. Now, if this is your first time using the color catalog, I recommend that you read through the introduction and the instructions as we can click down here to actually teach you how to use it. So we can have a look there at any time you can press the home button here and it will bring you back to this main page. There are a few tips here to navigate easily. So we have our home button at the top. Our second one here takes us to the colors page. The third one takes us to the keywords page and the fourth one takes us to the collection page. So what that looks like is we have our browse by colors here. We have our browse by keywords and we have browse by collections and we can head home. The about just gives you a bit of information about who I am and where these photographs have come from. So from our main screen here, we can browse by colors, keywords or collections. So let's just start by browsing by colors. Now, the way this works is if you are working on a particular project and you already have a particular color or look in mind, you can pick a color here to find all of the color palettes in this guide that include that particular color. So for example, I love teal. So we're going to click on teal 
And as you can see here, we've got these different options for teal. So I can then click on one of these and it will take me to that color palette page. It works the same way if we want to browse by keyword. We choose a topic, for example, if I would like to color something that's bright, I can choose bright. And as you can see, now this one is continued on the next page. So if we scroll, we can access them as well. And we have lots of color palettes here that are bright color palettes that we can choose from and click on to access our color palettes. So the same if we're browsing by collections. Now these collections are sorted by the groups that these color palettes were originally designed to be a part of. So these actually match the blog post that you may have seen at sarahreneclark.com. So for example, if we're looking for a color palette inspired by a beautiful landscape, that's one of our collections here. And we can see again here, and we can click on any one of these to see this beautiful color palette. Now, just a guide on the actual color palette page. So we've got our keywords here, which are the same keywords you'll find in the keyword menu. And we've got the colors here that are the same colors you'll find in the color menu. So that just gives you an idea of if you really like this purple, you can have a look and look at these other colors mentioned and see, for example, in this case, this is our mulberry. So if we want to find a similar color palette, we can go to mulberry and see if we can find it there. And here it is here under mulberry. Now, this section down here, we have these codes. Now, if you are using this for coloring books, these codes aren't going to be necessary for you. These codes are designed for if you're using these for web design, uh, for branding, for any kind of print design or um, anything else like that. So the, the hashtag and the number is our hex code specifically for web design. And then we have here the RGB and the CMYK values for each color. So the RGB is for on-screen design and the CMYK is for print design. Now, if you are using these for a coloring book, I have created these extra boxes down here that if you print a copy of this page, you can actually use them to color in with your pencils. And we'll have a look at that shortly. Now, when it comes to using this for coloring, Obviously, the pencils or the markers that you have are not going to list the RGB codes or the hex codes for you to reference. So I'm going to show you quickly how I do this. And then in a minute, I'll show you another app that you can actually use that is a third party tool, but that can help you to do this a bit more quickly. Now, as you can see, I've actually printed a copy of this and I've already started here using the spaces below to try and match up my colors. So what I can do is grab all the blues in my collection that look a bit like this blue, but as we know, the blue of the pencil isn't necessarily how it turns out. So that's where I would just test this in the area. And you can print multiple copies of this page so that you can actually use this to test or even test on a scrap bit of paper and then come back and actually write down the color that you like the most. So in this case, I actually really like the 1040. I think that's the closest. So I've actually written that down here and I've actually written that out so that I have that reference for later if I ever want to come back and use this color palette again. And of course, when it comes to coloring, you can just use this as a guide. You don't need to only use the colors on this color palette and you don't need to use all of them. So you may choose that you really like the blue, the yellow and the orange, but you may not want to add the pink. So you can do that and just choose part of it. This is really a starting point to inspire you, to give you somewhere to start so that you're not stuck staring at your page, not knowing where to begin. Now, if you need extra help choosing colors, you can use an app called Arty, which was recommended to me by Color with Claire. Now, this is a third party app, so it's not something that I provide support for, but it is something that you can use in conjunction with the color catalog. So in Arty, first you upload your image, which we can just use a screenshot from the color catalog to make that work. And then we press colors and then you can drag around this marker onto each color and it will match the color to a particular pencil range. So for example here we've got our orange right in the middle. It's telling us that it's a 94% match to the color pumpkin orange in the Prismacolor range. Now if we click Prismacolor we do have a few different pencil sets here. Obviously this only works for these pencil sets but it is great and a great extra tool if that's something you use. Now another program that's quite useful with the color catalog is called GoodNotes. Now there are other programs that offer similar features to this, so it's up to you which you choose because this one isn't a free app. And again, as this is a third party app, it's not something that I personally provide um, any kind of technical support for. So if you do choose to use this, you are using it at your own risk and you will need to take up any issues with the developers themselves. So if we open GoodNotes, what we can actually do is import the entire uh, color catalog into GoodNotes instead of using iBooks and it adds a bit of a few extra features for us. So we can do this by pressing the plus 
um, and we can import. Now I haven't saved it to my iCloud Drive or uh, photo camera Dropbox so you will need to save it to one of those to actually use the full functionality and the buttons in the color catalog. But for the purpose of this we'll use our screenshot that we used before. So you can import the entire PDF rather than just importing a screenshot in this instance. Um, this is just for an example. So what you can do here is you can actually then use this exactly the same as you use it on the interactive version in iBooks. But the extra features here is that you've got extra annotations that you can use. So whether you have a pencil or whether you just want to use your finger, you can actually now sort of make notes in these sections down here. So if our pencil is working, yes. So I could actually say, okay, this is PC 305. Um, many people will probably prefer just to have a printed copy for the purpose of making your notes, but it's good to know that those options are there. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment below. However, if you have a specific tech inquiry or if you've exceeded your download limit, you need to email me at hello at sarahreneclark.com as I will not be answering those kind of questions in the comments. But if you have any feedback, if you're enjoying the color catalog, please let me know. And if you haven't get your got your copy yet, please head to my website now and grab your copy of the color catalog so that you can find the perfect color for your next project. Thank you for listening.